Okay, since this is my second time doing this, uh, because the other one didn't save all the way, I will be showing, like, the map. Actually, I'm going to show the map first. This is the little round top. This is the map, like, the battle of the round top. Here we have, like, this road leads down over here where it connects to the main union base and a smaller outpost. On these, I put some, like, little areas. So we have federal sh federal sharpshooters over here. We have a um, general, and we have a lieutenant colonel here. If we go up over here to Little Round Top, um, we have the B Company, so the sharpshooters. If uh, either way, if you're wondering why these guns don't work, if I clone, I'd like to get these guys down, their arms will disappear, and the gun will just be there floating. That's why I don't have it held out. Here we have Colonel Joshua Chamberlain. I couldn't put Joshua Chamberlain and uh, Lawrence Chamberlain like I was going to because it didn't work for some reason. Um, as we move on, we go over to Round Top and over yonder to the Confederate base. We actually had Confederates here, but I used them to test what we were like to test the weapons on this, so we could so I could show you, which will be next. Okay, it doesn't even matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. If we go over here, we'll see the um, naval colt here. It's a two-shot kill at that range. I'm just going to clone. Just a few more times. So I could show you, this is the saber. And over here, we have the um, basic aiming component of the musket. Here, it's the pattern 1853, the second most used musket in the entire world. I'm gonna turn this off. Never mind, I have to turn it back on to turn it off. There we go. Okay, anyway, if I fix my bayonet now, which w I can press X to like lower my weapon so I can actually stab and I can block as well now we have a cavalry carbine this, this carbine it wasn't there was no cavalry here but we included it to make it so mobile players could actually have a chance because these are not mobile compatible Meanwhile, this is. Sorry, someone messaged me. Here is the, um, the, the carbine. At longer ranges. Okay, I just need to mute him because that'll get annoying fast. If I fly over here. And I try shooting. Oh, it's still a one shot. I guess it's longer range. But anyway, it'll do like 500. Um, fi not 500. It'll do f 50 damage for a super long range shot. Actually, no, it's 45. Sorry. I'm trying to remember these because I don't have a script. Anyway. Now that you've se seen most... Actually, wait a second. I need to show the rest of this as we go on we have the um like one of the farm fields and we have the town of gettysburg in the distance here's a clo more close-up version of it i'm so sorry i just did this so now i'm all like confused on what i'm doing right now so um for the musket commands we can press r to reload after we fired We have make ready, present, and then I could fire if I left clicked, but I'm not going to. If I press F or I right click when I'm in first person, I'll go instantly into percent, and if I hit left click to pull back hammer, I can fire again. If I press G, I go into advance arms. If I press H, I go into rest arms or like 
guard arms. If I press N, I go into slope arms. If I press K, uh, I'm pressing the button twice to go back into shoulder arms, which is just the basic. Um, K is trail arms, which makes you go as fast as slope arms, which is faster than normal. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. We have support arms. We have dress face, which a lot, which makes us go slower, but like it's meant to uh, like for wheels and stuff. Z, we can do to um, at ease. Our pouches on the thing, by the way, say FSA instead of uh, for Federal States Army. If I press V, it we do we go into a salute. And uh, yeah. Um, cult, naval cult, we press Z to go into at ease, T to go into dress face. If I left click, I can also right click to also go into, um, the same things as, like, with the musket. We can fire. And then we have to pull it back again. And, um, we have, if, it, if I, I can actually block with my saber, I forgot to mention that. Um, with like that. I, did I forget to mention? I am so sorry. Okay. Anyway, I can block with my saber. I can also attack with it. If I press G, I'll go into like the shoulder arms. If I press Z, I'll go into at ease. T, dress face. We have the 20th main flag. Hmm. And we also have the federal army flag. Now that we are done with that, I'm going to respawn. So we can take a look at some of the, um, the uniforms here. I'm gonna just walk pe down here so you can actually see each of the uniforms as we walk by. So here we have the conscript and pi pi private. Here we have the corporal. Here we have the sergeant. Here we have the first sergeant. Ordinate sergeant. Quartermaster sergeant and sergeant major. Second lieutenant. They have a different hat than these guys. That guy also has a different hat. Um, these all have different insignias on the top of their uniforms, and like on the sides, but they don't have like different hats for each rank, because there wasn't enough combinations I could do to get the each ones, but Major, we have just, you know, another one with the captain as well. For the Lieutenant Colonel, they have their own personal hat. These are for the U.S. sharpshooters, the Federal sharpshooters, I forgot to mention that. Um, here's that. Um, for the colonel of it, we have this. There's his hat. We also have some, like, customization options over here where you can have beards, we can have mustaches. It doesn't work too well with my face, because my face is just, like, angry, so it doesn't work too well. Over here, we have the conscript, and we have a private. Over here, we have a corporal. Over here, we have a sergeant. Over here, we have a first sergeant. Ordinance Sergeant, Quartermaster and Sergeant Major, Second Lieutenant, First Lieutenant, Captain, Major, this didn't work cloning so I had to leave the hat off, Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel, Brigadier General, Major General, Lieutenant General, I should actually probably show their insignias on the top of their uniforms so I'm gonna walk by, back down, like, show a bit of it, okay, now we'll go back. You have, the, and then we have the final main general here. These hats are clickable, so when you click on them, they, you put them on, and you can actually customize more over here. This button removes like your hair, so you can put on other stuff. These white buttons will teleport you. But I'm not going to teleport right now because I have a, the Confederate side to show you. Okay, there's another teleporter. There are the, um, like, sashes and stuff. As you can see over here, um, sorry. Over here it says CSA instead of FSA. Now we're gonna go down, in rank order, downwards, backwards, sorry. Here we have General. Here we have the General of the Confederate Army. This is what the General looks like. This is what the Lieutenant General looks like. I'd remove the hair, but I can't right now. Um, the Major General, that's what he looks like. This is what the Brigadier General looks like. These ones all have the same uniform, because I can't change this. 
one they didn't have separate uniforms I was given permission by somebody with credit to use those for educational purposes and that's what this is for anyway we have a colonel here with the infantry off for the confederate side and we have the lieutenant colonel the major the captain the first lieutenant the second lieutenant quartermaster and sergeant major ordnance sergeant first sergeant sergeant corporal and private slash conscript those are all as i'll show you these do take you to the proper area that you're supposed to this teleports you to the confederate side since i was in the confederate spawn room but when you like um join the game it'll automatically set you as one of these two but if you're in a union army group that um like i have you automatically will always get teamed the federal army instead of the confederate army also i wanted to mention that anything above second lieutenant spawns with a naval cult anything that's first sergeant or above spawns in with the federal army flag the 20th main um uh, is quartermaster sergeant or above and the saber i think is sergeant plus it might be only officers though anyway that is all i believe for this so um goodbye <laughs>